this video i'm going to show you how to create a pool party flyer like this in photoshop and this is coming up <laughs> Hi everybody innocent here and welcome to the channel over here we make videos like this if that is something that sounds like you're interested kindly consider subscribing inside the description of this video will be a link to download all the resources that i'll be using i got this from so many different sources and i put them together in case you want to use them and in case you practice and you want to send it over for me to take a look at you can hit me up on all my social media handles now let's get into Photoshop and let's get started. Right here in Photoshop, I'm using Photoshop 2025 to do this, but if you're using any other version, it should work for you. First thing you need to do is to create your canvas. So you press on Ctrl N and then you can create your canvas and choose any size that you want to use. But in this case, we are doing for social media. So let's go by four by four inches and you can click on create. Now the first thing you want to do is we want to bring in a background. So we go to file, place embedded, and then you can go to the folder that has your resources and then you can bring in the background. You can see from here that I got these images from Pinterest, the ones that has the long names. I got all of them from Pinterest and I got different ones for you just so you can play with your creativity. You don't have to do the same thing that I did. But in my case, this particular background worked for me. So I'll double click on it to bring it in Photoshop and then I can expand it to get the size that I want. Now the balloon or the ball in the pool is one of the focus that I, or one of the things that I was focusing on. So I'll just reposition it to the part that I want. And once you get it to the size that you want, you're good. So you can then go to the layer, right click, and then you can rasterize the layer. You go to filter, blur, and then you can go to Gaussian blur to add a bit of slight touch of blur to it. Because if you zoom in a bit, you can see that the image is a bit noisy so you add a blur to it just so it clears the noise of it and then you can click on ok next up you're going to add a bit of water background to it so please embed it again and then we'll bring this water drop background onto our file you double click on that you right click and then you go to rasterize layer go to the blend mode and then you can set this to any blend mode that works for you so you see screen over here even works. You can go for something like the soft light here so that it adds a bit of contrast to the background so that the background wouldn't look too bright. So let's use soft light here. But the soft light is also, it looks a bit darker. So let's decrease the opacity slightly. You can come down to around the 60s, somewhere 64, 65. Okay, this works fine. If you zoom in here, you can see that there is a line over there. We don't like that. So let's add a layer max to our layer the auto drop background and then we can choose our brush too by pressing on b increase your brush size by using the square brackets or the curly brackets and then you can brush off that part like that you can then push it up slightly we just want that water drops at the background that is the main focus for bringing this one in the next thing we want to bring in is go to open again this time around we are opening we are not place embedding we are open so we want to bring this balloon type we want to open it in a separate canvas okay so you double click on this it opens in a separate canvas for you you then unlock it from here if you are using photoshop 2025 you can just right click show contextual ta taskbar and remove the background from here which works super fine but in case you are not having photoshop 2025 what you can do is let me hide the contextual taskbar you go to window you go to properties and then you go to quick actions and to remove background it will also do the same thing for you so after you've gotten that you can bring that here and position it somewhere in the top right corner of your canvas so we want it somewhere around here and now you can right click on this and go to convert to smart object go to filter blur and then version blur over here and then you can blur it out we want it to be like a backdrop so play around with the intensity of the blur and once you've gotten the one that you want you can click on ok now on top of this let's add a bit of curves to it so you go to your create new fill adjustment and then you can select curves over here drop it down slightly not too much though slightly and then you are good to go and this is going to form our background the remaining things will be additional elements and the test that we put on this so next up let me close this one over here so next up let's bring in the pool now the pool test in itself is a whole test that has been crafted already it's not something that i did from scratch 
So you can bring it over here and yeah, in this case, I'm going to use the contextual taskbar to remove the background. You can use the same process that I taught you earlier as well. You remove the background and then you can send it to your canvas, position it in the middle. You can press control T to transform it. And then you press control A to position it in the middle. Now, if you zoom in here, you'd realize that the background took off the white as well. Okay. So you might have to paint the background, the white background back. So underneath of it, let's add a new layer. That is a complete new layer, nothing on it. And then we choose our brush tool. You right click and then you increase the hardness to 100%. Make sure your foreground color is white. And then you can decrease your brush size and paint over. So you take your time and you do the painting. You're going to do the same thing for here. Okay. And then you do for this side as well. So this is the before and this is the after. Pretty simple, right? Once you've done, you can select the two by holding control and selecting the two. Press control G to group that so that anytime you want to make a change or adjust it, the two will be together. You can as well use control plus E to merge it so that it becomes one. Let's change that name to pool test. After you're done, you right click on the layer, you go to the blending options and then you go to shadow and you can add a slight touch of shadow to it. So this is the before this is the after you can increase the opacity a little bit if you want to and you can click ok once you're done let's tap let's add the main test to it so you go to choose your test tool we are using a font called font spring demo i've already selected the test tool you're going to paste it right over here so it says atasa drop a pen now there is this interesting new feature in photoshop that makes sure that your test is well aligned on the other all the edges okay so if you select your test you can see the space over here if you press ctrl a to select all the tests and then you choose this new feature called the dynamic test you realize that it is going to align the test in a very nice way this is the before and this is the after if you don't have the photoshop 2025 you're not going to have this because prior to that you would have to use the paragraph and all which would cost you a lot but this feature is amazing. If you have Photoshop 2025, try it. So afterwards, you take your time to position it in the middle. You can make it a bit bigger. This is the main heading. Let's start to add effect to it. So let's right click on this, go to the blending mode. Since they changed the position of the blending mode, this has been confusing me. So you go to blending mode and then you can add gradient overlay. Now the gradient that we are using is this gradient here. We are not seeing it well because I have my opacity set to 26 but let's increase it to 100 we can then go ahead and set the angle to zero and then we can change the blend mode from overlay to normal okay so this is what we are looking for afterwards we'll add a stroke to it so we add a stroke the color is white position is outside and then we can increase the size a little bit like this you can as well add a drop of shadow to it but make it very less like this and you can click ok then you can press ctrl t and transform it slightly like that but i can see the stroke isn't well enough so let's go back to stroke and let's increase our opacity to like 100 and that means we can decrease this to about four or even three i think four is fine and we click ok afterwards we're going to make a duplicate of this so ctrl j and bring it down here and you are going to change that to party so it's going to be like a tassa drop a pen party okay open it up slightly press ctrl a and you make sure that it is centered and then let's go back to the stroke so you double click on the layer you go back to the stroke and then you can increase the stroke of this one so something like this works pretty fine and then you can click on okay now the bottom here you're going to put the information over there it's going to be pretty simple so let's select our rectangle to create a rectangle over here you can leave it just like this and put your details which will obviously make it look nice and fine but we wanted to go an extra mile so let's right click on this rasterize the layer and add a layer mask choose our brush to don't forget that we earlier set the hardness to 100 so let's change it back to zero percent increase the brush size a little bit and brush off the edges okay so you brush it off like that and now what you can do is you can press ctrl t to transform it hold shift and then drag this up slightly if you feel like the transparency is too much you can go back to your layer mask switch to white now and then decrease your brush size a bit and this time around you are going to paint this side slightly it is only the edges that we want it to be super soft not an entire rectangle so now you can bring it down slightly like that and now this should work but then i think we can 
group this and transform it slightly because I think it's, it's taking all the space. So we need a bit of space for this triangle. So let's open it up like that. It has to be that smooth. And then you can brush off a bit of this part. And on top of this rectangle, you are going to put our details. So you select your test tool. You are going to use the font poppings. I've already copied the test, so I'll paste it over here. You press Ctrl T and then you can transform it. Press Ctrl A and center it. Now you can't see anything because the color is white. So what we're going to do is we are going to copy the effect on the party or the Atasa drop pen party onto this one. So you hold Alt, drag the FX on the party onto the Eclipse. Okay, so that it is going to be like this. But we don't want the stroke. So you can turn the stroke off and even the drop shadow as well. So you can turn that one off. You press Ctrl T, transform it slightly. Press Ctrl A and center it. Now you can go to File, Place Embedded. And then you can bring in your location icon here. Transform it slightly like that. You can zoom in here. Z for zoom in. Okay, so you position it. And just like you did to the test, you can hold Alt, drag the FX onto the location icon as well. Now you can group these two. Press Ctrl G and then you center it or you recenter it if that's fine right underneath of that we'll select our rectangle create a rectangle over here and then we can double click on the layer thumbnail and give it a color from this side you then go to filter blur and then you use motion blur over here now it is going to ask you whether you want to convert it to a smart object or rasterize so you choose rasterize now you set the angle over here to zero so that it will be on the horizontal stretches and then you can play around with the distance so you want to have that motion blur over there and once you've gotten the one that you want you click on ok next up we'll go back to font spring demo and we are going to paste the names of the DJs and the MCs over there the color is still white let me turn it to this color so that you can see and then you can press ctrl T to transform it it's a bit bigger so let's transform it and then you can press ctrl A and center it I think the spacing is a bit awkward so Let's go to toggle character and change this to around minus 20. Now, the spacing here, all that you need to do is, if, for instance, if you have the names like this, you just use your tab key and use it to space it out. Okay, so you probably have to agree on the number of strokes that you want to make, say, four or five, and that will be the spacing between it. Now, I want to apply the same effect on this as well. So you hold Alt and then you drag the FX onto the names of the DJs and the mcs as well and we are done with that now the date and the rate so on the top right here we want to add the date and the rate so we are going to choose a rectangle to create a rectangle over here a very simple one let's double click on the layer thumbnail and change the color to white afterwards we're going to put our test over there so we will still use the font spring demo let's change this to font spring and you hold alt and you left click on this so i've already copied the date so i'll paste the date over here and we want to make it in the vertical one so you put your here's at the back of the september you hit enter do the same for the 2025 now the same effect that we used the dynamic test you can click on this and it is going to arrange it i think this is one of my favorite updates in in photoshop right now it just arranges it for you without any stress okay and then you can put it somewhere around here you take your time to position it and now you can add your effect so the same effect you hold alt and then you drag it onto it you see how simple that is big shout outs to photoshop for the dynamic effect i mean it's amazing now right underneath of that you're going to choose a rectangle to again create a rectangle over here not too big but something nice to be seen you're going to hold alt again drag your fx onto it you are just making use of the fx you are abusing it and then you can put your rate over there so you select your test tool you are using poppings and then you can paste your rate so that's like 30 cities so you put your rate over here and now you can select the rate the rectangle the 20th and the, the second rectangle or the first rectangle and put them together and you can transform it nicely you can even bring it over here if you are really paying attention to alignment but you can as well put it over here because you are going to put the logo over here so the alignment will still work but don't give it too close to the edge so we put it right over here and now we're just going to add a few elements to it so the first one is going to be file place embedded and we'll put this one this element over here you right click and you rasterize and then you can go to 
quick actions and remove the background and now you can press ctrl t transform it slightly and put it somewhere around here so here it's fine you see the parts that has been brushed off you can select your layer mask change your foreground color to white so you can use the x to toggle between the colors so white select your brush tool and you can paint those ones back so somewhere around here you can paint all of them back and if you want to be more detailed you can add some shadows at the bottom of it so you add a new layer over here choose your brush to make sure your color is set to black and then you can paint some shadow over here because it doesn't have to feel like it is hanging in the thin air and once you've gotten this i think we are fine on this side we are going to bring in this pen because this is for like the shs or shs people graduating okay so that's a drop a pen i don't know where the person came with this caption though where it's it's catchy it's pretty fun it's something that is trending so it makes sense so you position it over here and then you can go to filter blur and add a bit of margin blur to it not too much but not too less as well so somewhere around here it should be fine and then you can click on ok so i forgot to add the name of the logo of the organization organizing this is eclipse pay in Takradi. so you can reach out or pass by if you are in Takradi or its environs and then just like that you create a very simple nice cool party flyer for your event you can even add images or artists or anything to this i mean if you play around with your creativity a little bit more and also don't forget to group your works you're going to have your background you're going to have the main test over here the headings and the elements as well don't forget that a link to download all the elements or the resources to practice will be in the description if you gain value out of this video the subscribe to the channel will be so very much Atasa. Shout Atasa in the comment section. See you guys in the next one. Bye.